in downloading the app you can also use the play store but this time i'm using here google chrome kasi minsan doon sa play store ay hindi kagad agad natin mahagilap yung ating app na gusto natin i-download just key in here compiler for c language offline on android para kahit hindi tayo online tayo ay makakapag code then select coding c and download then install it and wait for the progress of your download ngayon ay bubuksan na natin yung app just open it okay and here is the preface of the c coding application Automatic yan meron ka agad ditong simple program na kung saan kung atin itong ilaran ay magdi-display siya dito ng Hello World. Of course, the first line here include stdio.h that is a preprocessor directive that tells you to load a particular file stdio.h and then end main beginning of the main functions and start from the left to right braces are the body of the main function. Ngayon ay irarun natin siya. Just click run. And then yun yung kanyang output. Hello world. For example, gagawa na ako ng simple program. Kasi gagamitin ko din naman yung first line of code and then the second line and then the left brace. Okay, dito na ako mag-insert ng aking code. Magsisimula ako ngayon sa aking variable uh, declaration char space my initial and then a semicolon and then the second line of my variable declaration is int age i'm using here printf function and delete ko na lang itong hello world then palitan ng statement na enter your middle initial and then gamit na din tayo ng backslash n Para pag mag-write during runtime, mag-encode ay nasa baba na siya. At hindi nakadikit doon sa statement. Next, we need a functions that will read the data or the value that we're going to input during runtime. And that is scanf function. Doon sa printf function, we have a statement, enter your middle initial. Ibig sabihin, maglalagay tayo doon ng initial. Dito sa scanf, it is expected na ang ilalagay natin dito ang format string is percent %c and that is referring to a character. Kasi nga, example na ating character ay a, b, c. So, it could be uppercase or lowercase and that is character. Then, copy natin yung my initial. That is what we call the variable. Then, paste natin dito siya kadikit ng address of operator. Meaning, yung kanyang babasahin or yung value na kanyang i-scan ay ipapasa niya or i-store doon sa ating my initial na variable. Again, magdadagdag ako ulit ng panibagong printf function. And within the double quote, I have here an statement, enter your age. And again, mag-add din tayo dito, mag-insert tayo ng backlash n. During runtime, Doon sa statement na into your age, of course, mag-input tayo doon ng value or data. That's why, again, mag ako dito ng scanf function. And it expected na kasi number yung ating ilalagay, dapat ating format string na ating gagamitin is present d. And ilagay natin dito yung variable na age. And of course, huwag natin kalimutan ilagay yung kanyang address of operator, yung ampersand. Hanggang dito lang muna tayo. And then the last thing ay kailangan na nating ilabas yung hawak na value ng bawat variables. So this time we're using printf function. And again, mag-create tayo dito ng panibagong statement. My middle initial is percent %c. Percent %c that is referring to a character. To display the value na kanyang i-scan during runtime. And then, I am present D. So, this is referring to a uh, number. And that is a whole number. Para naman, kanyang may display dito yung kanyang i-scan during runtime, yung value or yung age na i-input during runtime. And, 
of course, kailangan natin ditong ilagay after ng separator, kama. Ilagay natin dito yung my initial. Make sure naka-order yung bawat variable kasi kung ano yung nauna dito, yun yung ilalabas na value ng format string. So, kasi nauna dito yung percent %c, so that is referring to my initials. At ang hawak na value ni my initial ay yun yung kanyang ilalabas. Next, copy natin yung variable na age, then paste after the my initial. And this variable age is for percent %d. Ibig sabihin, sa percent %d ay lalabas niya yung value na hawak ni... Meaning, ilalabas niya yung value na hawak ni variable age. That would be all for this simple program. And this simple program is intended to get the user middle initial and the user age. To test this code, how it works, just click run. You will read here interior middle initial and that is an instruction for us to encode middle initial and I'm writing here uppercase letter R. Then press next to execute the next function and we have here interior age and that is an instruction for us to input age. For example, okay. Sometimes kasi kung ano yung ating nailalagay. For example, instead na maglagay tayo ng edge, nalagay tayo ng pangalan. And instead na maglagay tayo ng pangalan, naglalagay naman tayo ng number. So yan ay malalaman natin kung ano yung ating input na value doon sa code na ating ginawa. Halimbawa, ang nilagay nating format string is percent %c doon sa si scanf. So it is expected na character yung ating ilalagay. So ibig sabihin, pag percent %s naman, ibig sabihin that is string. So it expected the word naman yung ating ilalagay. Pwede ring full name or a statement. Back in our simple program, we have here the last line. My middle initial is r, I am 18. Pwede rin natin itong i-save. Click lang natin yung save. Then palitan natin yung kanyang file name. Then save. At makikita natin ito dito sa ating file manager. Sa all files. Coding C and yan. Yung ating simple program. Select natin yung documents. And then open natin sa HTML viewer. Okay. Then, allow lang natin yung HTML viewer. And that is our simple program that is saved on our file manager. That would be all in this video and I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.